Hello everyone, I'm Nagraj. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to see the working of PIR sensor. So PIR stands for Passive Infrared Sensor. They are called passive because they do not generate or radiate any energy for detection purpose. They work entirely by detecting the energy that is radiated by other objects including humans and animals. The basic principle of working of a PIR sensor is that any object whose inner temperature is above the absolute zero degree emit heat energy in the form of IR radiations. Of course, these IR radiations are not visible to us and these PIR sensors are designed to detect these radiations. As you can see here, this white cap is a group of Fresnel lenses. It ensures that the sensor covers wider range. You can easily remove this. So one of the important component of this PIR sensor is the IR detector as you can see here. And the other important component is the BISS0001 IC. These two are the potentiometers which you vary to adjust the range which is nothing but sensitivity of this sensor and this is to control the time delay, uh, to control uh, the duration of the output. It simply means how long the output should stay in a particular state. These are the jumper pins and it will be on any of the two pins. So if it is in this two pins, it is called non-read triggering or non-repeatable trigger and it is said to be in L position. It means that the output will be high all the time and it will go low only when a motion is detected. When you place the jumper pin on the other two pins, it is called as repeatable trigger or red triggering and it is said to be in H position. And it simply means the output what we get here will go high only when a motion is detected. So let's see the working of this PIR sensor. This PIR sensor is internally split into two halves. The main concept what we have to understand here is this sensor is not measuring the, uh, the presence of IR radiations. It is actually measuring the change in the level of IR radiations and therefore it is split into two halves or two slots and the level of IR radiation in each slot is compared and depending on the change in the level of IR radiations the output will be generated. So in order to understand this let's assume uh, this is the sensor the two windows uh, this is the first window and this is the second window when a warm body like a human or animal passes by it first intercepts one slot of the PIR sensor and therefore uh, the level of IR radiation in this slot slot 1 will be high compared to the level of IR radiation in the second slot. If we take A as the level of IR radiation in this slot and B the level of IR radiation in this slot A minus B gives a positive differential change. So when the object is leaving this area, the level of IR radiation in this slot will be more. In slot 2, that is B, will be more compared to A. Therefore, A minus B will give a negative value, which is a negative differential change. So these change in pulses are actually given as input to the BISS0001 IC. As I told you previously, another important component is the BISS0001 IC. So here is the data sheet of this IC. It is called as Micro Power PIR Motion Detector IC. So it's a 16 pin IC. Here is the pin description. So all the concepts which I discussed previously, the sensitivity adjustment, the uh, time delay control, the jumper pins to change the uh, state of the output, all these is possible because of this so as you can see here, the so first pin is retriggerable and non-retriggerable mode select. And uh, V0 is the output which we get on this pin. These are the inputs 
from the sensor to the BISS0001 IC. So we'll find a lot of information in this data sheet. I've attached this document in the description so you can find it there. So uh, if you want to use this PIR sensor without you know a Raspberry Pi, you have to use a level shifter like this because the PIR sensor gives output as 3.3 volts. So you have to shift from 3.3 to 5 volts. So if you want to learn more about the working of this level shifter, you can find my previous video here. So I hope you guys have understood about the working of PIR sensor. That's it about this video. Uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask. Thanks for watching.